and we're out here at the Brant Research Farm in Pleasant Plains, Illinois. Today we're, we're looking at soybeans that are roughly in the R1 stage. Um, we're going to be looking at the fungicide and insecticide application. We're going to hear from two of our experts. One is our senior agronomist, Ed Corrigan, and we're also going to hear from our vice president of discovery and innovation, Brian Heschmeyer. So today we're going to talk about high yield soybeans and we use fungicides to accomplish that as well as stop a lot of the diseases that we may encounter given stressful conditions from weather of too much uh, moisture to little of moisture. Those kinds of things can really start to play a role in how that bean is able to pull nutrition up. Um, micronutrients are a great companion product to put with that fungicide. With the application of Brant Smart Trio and Brant Smart BMO, um, what we're seeing is increased pod set and pod count. You can mix it with fungicide and insecticide uh, and it'll spray beautifully together. So with the Brant Smart BMO, the boron is really important during the reproductive period of crops, particularly on soybeans. Soybeans are a high consumer of boron. Um, and if you have boron, low boron levels, you can abort your flowers. We're seeing increased pod set from the application of Brant Smart BMO. The Molly is really nice because it helps with nitrogen assimilation. Uh, so Brant Smart BMO with the R2, R3 timing is an excellent opportunity for you guys to help set more pods. At this timing, zinc is really important for stress alleviation. It's also important for nitrogen assimilation. When you take the plant, it converts amino acids to protein. Zinc plays a role in that. Manganese is key for photosynthesis. Um, plays a major role in the photosynthetic activity, uh, particularly in soybeans. Brant Smart Trio mixed with Brant Smart BMO with the fungicide side and insecticide is a proven winner for us. We have an 80% win rate with this combination over the last few years. Um, our own trials are showing us anywhere from two to four bushel increase. Uh, this year, University of Illinois replicated the trials too and got uh, over three bushel increase as well. Uh, we feel highly confident about this product as, as a great chance for growers to increase their, their profits, a great ROI. Yeah.